Hello, my name is Jussi Hallila and I am here to give you a course on full stack Kotlin with Spring and React. My background is working as a full stack developer for both large companies and small startups. I'm currently in a multinational in Dublin working as a head of front end development, but I have a decade of experience creating software, mainly focusing on JVM driven backends and single page application front end using from legacy code using jQuery all the way to Vue.js and React nowadays. I am considering myself as an expert in Spring and React and I am an early adopter of Kotlin, especially in Spring environment. In this course we'll be going through Kotlin, Spring and React. So we'll take a look at Kotlin as a language a little bit and then see how to set that up with Cradle Kotlin script and see how to develop a Spring Boot application as a RESTful API backend using React and Redux on the front end to communicate with that. So if we go through this section by section, the first section will be touching Kotlin Cradle and Spring and setting up those guys. And then we'll jump into Spring Web with Kotlin. So we'll create our initial Spring Web application and see how that works well together with Kotlin. From there, we jump into Reactive Spring. So we are using Spring Boot 2 and Spring 5 on the back of that. So we'll be using the Reactive functionality on the new Spring version. After Spring REST Reactive, we'll jump into Spring Data and after that go through Spring Security and secure our application. Our last backend section is Web Services. So we'll see how to do some integration with external APIs using Reactive uh, REST client that Spring has included in their new version. And then our section seven will jump onto the front end side of the application. So we'll set up our Kotlin JS with Cradle and see how that works together with a full stack JVM based application. And we'll pull in React wrappers from JetBrains uh, full stack Kotlin sample application and see how those look. And finally, we'll start creating our first React views and see how the architecture plays and how to do the one way data flow with Redux and the flux pattern that Facebook recommends to use in large scale React applications. Final two sections will communicate with the back end with our single page application. So we'll go through as asynchronous Redux factions, Kotlin call routines, and XHR requests. So we'll communicate with the back end. And finally, we'll even deploy the application. So we'll create an AWS Linux server and deploy the application and set that up and running with in there with HTTPS security around it as well. The course structure itself is more or less split into two separate modules. So we are separating our backend and frontend development. We'll create an application using the latest uh, Spring framework, so Spring 5 and Spring Boot 2 and we are using as well the best practices when creating a React and Redux application. The sections are, we have 12 different sections within this course and they are split into individual sections. Code examples are shared via GitHub. So we have a full repository and all of the videos have their own branch. So you can jump in and out of the course at any point in time and there is also zip files that are given to you, but those might get outdated. So it is better to set up a GitHub repository or GitHub user and follow the course through that. So what will you learn from this course then? This is a course to upscale yourself from a standard backend or a frontend developer to a full stack dev. So you will gain wider understanding on patterns used in modern JVM JS applications and see how to use Kotlin with Spring and see how to create Kotlin JS applications and use React wrappers to create a single page application. You also understand the workflow and structure when you create a JVM driven backend and how that communicates with a single page application frontend. 
What you need to know before you jump into this course is a basic understanding of software development in a JVM environment, so build tools, IDEs and version control. As well as awareness of Kotlin language, you don't really need to know much of the language, but you need to be aware that the language exists and how the basic control structures of the language play together. Also tools that we are using in here is IntelliJ IDEA. The JDK we are currently using is JDK 8. We are using Cradle as our build tool and Node.js for the front end. And then you need a REST client to test your application before we develop the actual single page application front end for it. The next video will be touching the actual setup and we'll start developing our Kotlin Spring and React application.